welcome to Wild Animal Wednesday. I'm Mrs. Laura. And I'm Alexis. Today is our last video of our reptiles and amphibians around the world series. So if you missed any of them, check out the playlist, Reptiles and Amphibians Around the World. Now today we are discussing the difference between turtle versus tortoise. While they're both reptiles, they have many differences. That they do. So let's share a few of those differences. So a turtle will generally have a fairly flat shell, which makes it perfect for able to swim underwater. A tortoise has a dome-shaped shell. It's kind of like an upside down bowl, isn't it? Now something about their feet. Turtle tends to have webbed feet, which again, help it when it's in the water so it can swim. And the tortoise has stubby elephant-like feet. It does, doesn't it? So there's quite a difference in their feet and in their shells. But one of the biggest differences is that a turtle will spend a lot of time in the water and will come on land as well. The but tortoise spends most of its time on land. So those are some pretty distinct differences. But I think the biggest thing is their feet. Because some turtles do have a little bit more of a dome shell like the box turtle. But one of their biggest things is that the turtles have the webbed foot and the tortoise has those flat elephant-like feet. And there's something else that's a different about how they walk. Can you tell us the difference of how they walk? The tortoise will walk on its tippy toes like a ballerina, but the turtle will walk on its flat feet. Mm -hmm. So there's some other cool differences. So look at those feet the next time you're trying to tell, is it a turtle or a tortoise? Now here's another fun fact. All tortoises are turtles, but not all turtles are tortoises. Why is that? Well, it's because the turtle is the name of the family that includes turtles, tortoises, and terrapins. And a tortoise is a kind of turtle. But what about terrapin? A terrapin is another member of the turtle family. And what was different? They actually live in brackish water. So what's brackish water? It's fresh water mixed with salt water. That's right. So terrapins will live in this unique form of water called brackish water. They like to live in those marshes that are right by the ocean, which is that perfect source of brackish water. Now that we've learned what is different about a turtle and a tortoise, let's learn a little bit more about turtles. There are more than 300 kinds of turtles living on all the continents except for Antarctica. Many turtles live mostly in the water, with sea turtles living all the time in the water, except when they come to shore to nest. A tortoise is also called a land turtle. Why? Because they live on land. So turtles walk very slowly. They have a beak, much like a bird, which incorporates their nostrils and their mouth. The top of their shell is called a carapace. It consists of many different scoots, which are these bony plates upon the shell. The bottom part of the shell is called a plastron. Leatherback sea turtles are the largest of all the turtles. They can be up to seven feet long and weigh up to 2,000 pounds. These little speckled tortoises are the smallest turtles. They're only two and a half inches. The giant tortoises are the longest living creatures that can live over 150 years. Look at the jaws of this snapping turtle. I sure wouldn't want my fingers to get caught. Turtles use that beak to catch their food and swallow it whole. Some turtles will only eat plants, making them herbivores. Others will only eat meat, like insects and worms, making them carnivores. But others will actually eat plants and animals, making them omnivores. Baby turtles look much like their parents right when they hatch. And in fact, they eat pretty much the same food. Like birds, little baby turtles will have an egg tooth at the end of their beak. They use this to rip open that leather-like egg so they can emerge. Once they're out of that egg, they are ready for action. Here are some interesting turtles. The pig nose turtle. <laughs> the Mata Mata turtle, which looks much like a leaf. The Galapagos tortoise, the largest tortoise. 
that you can grow up to five feet and weigh more than 550 pounds. And they only eat plants. That reminds us, eating your veggies makes you strong. Look at the neck on this Eastern long neck turtle. Check out this alligator snapping turtle. It's the largest freshwater turtle. This book focuses mostly on the painted turtle, which lives in North America. So how can you tell a male painted turtle from a female painted turtle? Look at their claws. So the male claw will be much longer and the female claw will be shorter. Now in this picture, it shows the female claw to be more colorful, but when we researched that, we didn't find that necessarily to be true. But the size of their tail also makes a difference. A male will have a thicker, longer tail and the female will have a shorter, thinner tail. Another interesting difference between the male and female painted turtle is their plastron, which is the under part of their shell. The female plastron will be pretty flat, whereas the male will be a little bit more concave, which is shaped kind of like this, like an upside down bowl. The painted turtle will lay about 20 eggs in its nest and then cover it up with sand. I love how these pictures show what goes on inside that egg. First, the little embryo develops its leg buds. You can kind of already see the tail forming inside. After those legs develop, then it'll start to develop its shell. Look, you can even see the webbing on its feet. Aw, the sweet babies. And as we learned with the sea turtles, the temperature also makes a difference with depending whether it's gonna be a male or female that hatch from the egg. If the nest is warmer than 84 degrees Fahrenheit, all the eggs will be females. If it's cooler, they will all be males. After about 10 weeks, the babies are ready to hatch. You'll hear a little hip, 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 and they'll use that little egg tooth and rip open their egg to pop out. It can take hours or even days for these little babies to come out of their egg. The newly hatched painted turtle is only about the size of a quarter. The little baby turtles are actually born with a yolk sac inside their egg. This provides food for them for just about a week. Once they've hatched out of their egg, they emerge up to the sand. Then they make a mad dash for the pond, river, or lake that is nearby. Once in the water, that little baby starts to look for food. He eats both plants and animals, making it an omnivore. But watch out, baby turtle, you have some enemies like raccoons and herons. So the baby turtle will eat and eat and eat, and then it grows and grows and grows. But how does that shell grow? The shell is covered with these bony plates called scoots. And as the turtle ages, those scoots will fall off and be replaced with new ones underneath. They're actually made out of keratin, the same thing that your nails are made out of. About a year, that painted turtle has doubled in size but it takes about three to eight years for it to become a full grown adult. Then the painted turtle can live for up to 60 years. Now those females will actually grow larger than the males. Let's look inside the turtle. So one of the things we notice about the turtle is that it has no rib cage. The plastron and the carapace on the outer shell act as its ribs. Another interesting feature, we know that it's a vertebrate, it has a backbone, but look how the backbone actually connects to the shell. You can also see those five distinct toes on the front and the back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So you can see how it's a little bit bendable so that it can easily stick its head back inside its shell. Outer shell, this carapace, is actually made out of keratin, which is what our fingers are. In rhino horns in hair. That's right. But the backbone is made out of bone. But look how together they form such <clears throat> a strong armor. And it's a good thing, right? Yeah. Those turtles are slow. Totally. Check out this painted turtle I found. We found. We found Ruby again. What kind of reptile is she? She's a painted turtle. Can you flip her around? Let's see that beautiful design she has on, on the back of her hair. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. <laughs> I love it. Ow! Don't, Don't drop her. Don't drop her. So we're going to let her. 
We're gonna let her go now, right? <laughs> She's squirmy. Ow. Go ahead and put her in. Bye, Ruby. distance half the length of its shell. Look how he stretches that neck. Oh look, he's sniffing for something. Probably smells, smells a pug. Yeah, he's like, oh, it smells me a pug. If he even moves, he'll never get him. Oh, he's just, that neck is so thick. Oh, he's looking at you, Lou, look. Oh. He's turned to look at you now. Look, and there goes that neck. That's why they get him off the road, though. I don't like him out here. Mm. See all the algae on him? Yeah. I want to see it. There you go, buddy. Get back in the water. The road's not a safe place for you. Check out this gopher tortoise I found. Here we are in Minnesota Key, and we found a gopher tortoise. The gopher tortoise is a reptile and it only lives on Florida and it's an herbivore. We were trying to make sure this gopher tortoise didn't get out to the road. Did you know turtles can't even stick their tongues out and that they can actually breathe through their butts? We're the kitty twinsies and it is turtle time. All right, it is turtle time. So we're actually going to draw a turtle and a tortoise or a land turtle and kind of share some of the differences of the two. So you can see, I just have my blank white sketchbook. I have my paper turned horizontally because I'd like to have the turtle and the tortoise kind of face each other like they are in the book. Alexis, what are you using? I am using my animal notebook and I'm going to draw my turtle up here and my tortoise down here. Good idea. So this is part of the third grade curriculum with Rebecca. What do you do on the right side of your book? I write facts down. Mm -hmm. And on this one she actually wrote the differences between the turtle and the tortoise and she also wrote what was the same. I like that. And then on her left side she always just draws the picture of it. All right, let's get drawing. I'm going to start with the turtle. As you can see, the turtle's shell is more on the flat side. Some of the turtles, like the box turtle, will have a little bit more of a domed carapace, but for the most part, it's a flat shell. Kind of move that around here. And we'll kind of make it kind of has like the two layers like that. And with a little the scoot separations. And then we will draw a little head poking out with the mouth and he's got nostrils they breathe with lungs Close eye and then we will draw the bottom of the shell which is called the plastron the top is the carapace he has he has webbed feet Let's draw his little legs coming out. And they do have five little toes. They do have little tiny claws. And as we learned with the painted turtles, the males have longer claws than the females do. And they do have webbed feet as they spend a lot of their time in the water. So we just erase that little line there. And the back. Foot is a little bit shorter. Two, three, four, and again five toes. And it's claws. Five little claws and webbing. And of course they have their sweet little tail popping out here. And that was the other thing is the females have a smaller tail. The males have a longer tail. So there's a few differences between the males and the females. And then this one, 
um, the plastron is probably a little bit bigger than it really should be. So I'm actually gonna change this a little bit. Um, the plastron, I think I want it a little bit closer to the rest of the shell. So I'm just gonna change that up. There we go, make it just a little bit closer up here. The plastron does tend to be pretty flat. So here we go. And as you know, turtles can move their feet, their tails, and their head into their bodies, but not sea turtles. Sea turtles cannot put their heads or legs inside their body. So I did go maybe a little bit too far on my little turtle here, but I'm gonna actually make my turtle kind of in the water to kind of show that they do spend a lot of their lives in the water, even though they do dwell on land as well. So now here's my little tortoise. So we're gonna draw some of the differences in the tortoise here. All right, now I'm gonna draw my tortoise over here and he's gonna be up on the land. So I'll draw his land up here. So we do have our little turtle with the water. I'm gonna draw a little hunk of land here for my tortoise to go on. Some of the tortoises will swim, but it's quite rare. So again, they have a little bit more of that dome-shaped shell. They can have a, even have quite a few bumpy ridges on their shell as well. And the other thing is their feet are quite flat and wide, very much like an elephant's. But they do also have those five claws on the front and the back, and they will tend to walk on their tippy toes. Here's my tortoise, the lamb turtle. And they also, the tortoises tend to be herbivores. Whereas the turtles will be omnivores or carnivores. Um, and then also the tortoises do have a little bit more of a rounded shaped head as opposed to the turtles. So now just a little bit about their shells. The shell is made of bones covered by scaly plates called scutes. And they do tend to have some different designs, these um, scutes do. Turtle will actually have 38 different scoots on its carapace, which is the top shell. And they'll tend to have about 12 scoots in the plastron. And as we talked about, those scoots are made out of keratin, which is the same thing as our fingernails. But both the turtles and the tortoises. They both have the scoots. Now let's go ahead and color. I'm going to use this tortoise as my guide. I really just like how it's got like the lighter brown scoots in the middle and it kind of gets like a medium brown and a dark brown, kind of like an ombre look. I thought that was really pretty. So I'm going to mimic this tortoise for my coloring. Ooh, I like yours. Thanks. It's really good. Now I'm going to make my turtle a painted turtle just because they're so beautifully colored. And there we have our turtle and our tortoise. And here Alexis has her turtle and tortoise. Another thing that I noticed that none, none of the books actually really mentioned, but if you look very carefully, most pictures you're going to see that the tortoise has much harder scales on his skin. Whereas that turtle that likes to swim in the water tends to have a little bit of a smoother skin. So that's another difference I feel that there is between the turtle versus the tortoise. Thanks for joining with us everyone, yay! Now we used a lot of books for our study today. First, we read all of these books about turtle versus tortoise. Then we read a bunch of books about having turtles as pets. Then we read all these books just about turtles. Then there's this cool book about inside reptiles. Check out our descriptions for the list of different books that we used today learning about turtles versus tortoises. Now stay tuned. Even though this is our final video in the reptiles and amphibians around the world, guess what we made? Bonus episodes. That's right, we have five bonus episodes. Just 
little random things about reptiles and amphibians that we hope you enjoy. Well, until next time, thanks for learning with us. Bye! Bye. Take an eating break. Yep. That's about all. That's about all. <laughs>